Hello guys, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is a new tutorial session for you. This is the session on the Tesseract OCR. I have, I hope you guys have heard about it. This is the Tesseract API, which is used to convert the image to a text. You can read the text from an image. So in this tutorial session, we are going to learn how to use the Tesseract OCR in Java using Eclipse. There are three basic steps. So we will follow these steps one by one. In the first step, we need to download the Tesseract package, uh, which is in form of zip. Once this is downloaded, we will unzip this file and we will save on our file system. Okay, guys, here's the download link. You can get the same link from the description box as well. So just open your uh, favorite browser and copy this link and visit. Okay, now I am inside the Chrome and I am visiting this link. So, so guys, you will be landed at this place and uh, right here, you can see there is a green button for the download. So just click on it and uh, your file, zip file downloading will start in 5 seconds. You can see guys here the zip file start downloading the file size is not big so just uh, copy that uh, file and place it somewhere at the safest location now it's time to extract it So guys, you will get this kind of folder and now in this folder, the important folder is test data because we need this path and once we write our code, we have to pass this path. Okay, I will show you. So first step is completed. Now it's time to move on the, on second step. So guys, we are using Maven based Java project. So here is the dependency. You can add this dependency in pom.xml to get the Tesseract API. And uh, in the step three, we will write a small code and then we will convert one image uh, to a text. So guys, here is the project and this is the Maven based project. I will show you my pom.xml here. I have added the same dependency to use the Tesseract API. So these dependency details also given in the description. You can check there or you can visit the mavenrepository.com so you will get the latest dependency. And please add this dependency in your pom.xml and save it. Okay guys, so now we are moving on the step three. In the step three, we will write a code to read an input image. Basically input image is the image from which we will extract our text. So I have prepared one uh, sample image and uh, we are going to read with the help of this Tesseract API in this tutorial session. So here's the image, cool IT help. Please subscribe to learn more. Okay. So guys, simply I'm uh, copying this file and putting inside the source folder. Uh, you can give the direct path as well. I will explain both things here. So here's the sample image and this is the code and uh, here's our class read image with main method. Now I'll explain. So you can see we are using the Tesseract class and uh, there's a, another class Tesseract exception. So both are in use. So first, you have to create the instance of the Tesseract class. Once you get the object, you can move further. And the very important thing at line number 15, Tesseract data path. Okay guys, so what you have to do, you have to give the path of that archive file. Okay, in which we have that test data folder. So here we have extracted it. Now I'm going inside it. The same way you have to go here, go inside this prod folder and guys just copy this path and come back here in the Eclipse and paste the path here. So basically what is required 
we need the path of the test test data folder okay because inside this folder we have configuration file and supporting configuration and after that we are moving at line number 19 using the object test rect dot do OCR and then new file object and we have to give the sample image path so guys you can give the complete path as well as you can give the path this way okay so do OCR method will return you the string after reading that image and we simply printing this on the console to test it so here's the complete now it's time to uh, take a clean build and run because this is the Maven project here we go guys and uh, we are waiting for the build success okay now I'm going to run it run as Java application here we go okay in the console we found the message cool IT help subscribe to learn that means the statement 22 executed successfully and uh, our program is able to read that image and uh, able to extract the text from the image you can see here I hope you guys now have a clear understanding on uh, using the Tesseract OCR API in Java project inside the Eclipse the intention of this tutorial to provide you the basic knowledge how to use if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help